Hi, my name is Harry and I'm coming to the hospital to have a sleepover. The doctors at the hospital want to see how I sleep. It's called a sleep study. When you come to the hospital, you have to find your way to the sleep department. You have to take the lift at the end of the corridor to the second floor. Around the corner is a door with a button to press for the sleep department. Hello, yes, I've got Harry here for a sleep study. When you come in, you get shown around and then they ask some questions. All right, welcome to the worst hotel in the world. What I need to tell you straight off the bat, there is a camera up there, we'll be watching the young man's sleep behaviours, that sort of thing. There is a microphone there, we'll be listening for snoring, both yours and his. Toilets are down the hall to the left, and control room where the technician sit is just there. Okay. Um, so basically, the people in there are watching us sleep. Yes. All night. Okay, so now. Boy. Good boy. Then they asked Dad to do some paperwork. So I've just got some questions to ask you. Uh, no, no. And uh, last year health and history. We're going to need a sample from the young man, so if I could get you to take this, head in there, and uh, fill her up. Okay, certainly. Cool. They ask you to go to the toilet with a little jar to collect some of your wee. Yeah, don't forget to put the lid on. But they can help you if you want. Okay. Thank you for that. Now we need to take your height and weight, so I get you to come over here. Let's wait a second. Okay, on your hop. Then they will see how high and heavy you are. Good job. Now we're going to take your height. We measure your head because we need to put electrodes over certain sites of your brain. Hey, check this out. And we're going to draw on you with a little wax pencil so we can measure. That'd there you go. Good. Yes, it does. The technician sticks little stickers with wires attached all over you. They are called electrodes and they attach them to a machine that converts the signals that your brain makes into information for the computer. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. So thanks for being such a good setup. I'm going to turn the lights off and you just get some sleep. Thanks Alex. Alright mate, you get a good night's sleep and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. The signals from your head, heart and breathing are checked to see you are getting a good night's sleep. If you wake up during the night, Dad, the technician will come to you what is it, Harry? because you are being videoed. If you need your dad, it's all right, mate. Just close your eyes, go back to sleep. Everything's fine. They will get him up as well. Yeah, I Very good. They wake you up at 6.30, then it's back to the toilet with a little sample jar. Great! When you get dressed, you go to the ultrasound department. This is called an FMD procedure. It's so that the researchers can look at how your blood vessels work. <laughs> Then I did a tilt table test. They will need to get a blood sample as well. I have to give your skin a really good claim. It hurts a little bit, but the researchers need it for their work to help other children. It's a great adventure coming Harry. for a sleep study and now you have seen me having a sleepover at the hospital. You will know what to expect 
if you have to come to the hospital for a sleep study.